<laughs> Jay's got another one. <laughs> He's in the grass. I'm trying to be easy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guess what day it is? It's Jessica's birthday. birthday. We got a birthday girl here in the don't, kitchen or in the little dining room area. Don't ask me how old I am. Guys, she's 27 Cole, years old. Stop. Y'all knew that. You knew that she was a couple of years older than me, but she's finally reached the 27 year old 21. mark. 27 laps around the sun. 21. <laughs> But anyways, we're out here, we're hanging out, and uh, Jessica has a few agendas that she's wanting to accomplish today, and we're gonna let her tell you guys exactly all, that, all the things that she wants to do on her birthday. Well, of course, I just wanna catch stuff all day. I have like a checklist of everything that I wanna catch. So I wanna catch a snake, snake. a turtle, a fish, and a frog. And I think we can do that today. Yeah, with it's ease. a perfect day. Look at this, look outside, can y'all see that? I'm not sure y'all can see that, it might be too blown out, but it is a gorgeous, day here in central arkansas it's sunny it's kind of windy it's kind of cool but it's all right oh you forgot the one other thing that was on your checklist oh. that we did this morning oh yeah so i always have to eat chocolate gravy on my birthday i don't know how to make chocolate gravy and it's not my favorite thing in the world but jessica i hear makes the best chocolate gravy that's what everybody says They're like this is the best chocolate gravy i've ever had in my life and it's just not my favorite thing but i learned it from my mom and my mom they made it for me my whole life so, and Cole actually doesn't like it, which is kind of sad, but I made him a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. So. Ayo, check this out. You probably think it's weird that she cooked for me on her birthday, but <laughs> she was just in there doing it. We were, we were busy, we were doing some other things. Show gravy. Yeah, let's Look show me your gravy. Stuff. I'll turn this around. So this is chocolate gravy. It's just chocolate gravy over biscuits, and it is the most amazing thing in the world. But I don't eat it too often. But just on her birthday and special occasions. And <laughs> special I can't occasions. think of a better occasion than today to eat some chocolate gravy. So go on ahead, get your bite of that for the people at home. <laughs> oh yeah. So we're gonna hang out here, we're gonna eat our breakfast, and then we're gonna get on with today's activities. I think we're gonna go straight to a creek. We're not sure which one yet. We're gonna let the sun come up a little bit more and get everything heated up so maybe they'll find some we'll find some critters basking on the surface somewhere. So until then, we're gonna have breakfast. We'll see you guys in a moment. Here we are, we made it to the creek. We're currently downstream and we're gonna be walking upstream. I'm hopeful that we're gonna catch a snake and a turtle here so I can check them off my birthday checklist. What Larkin, what do you have? I'm not exactly sure. I think it's a plain-bellied water snake. He's uh, got me down in this hole here. Don't wanna hurt him. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's a plain belly. It's pretty, too. About to wipe me up. He's a big one. Oh, yeah. oh, he got me. Check it out, guys. I was just walking over here along the side of this ditch, and I saw him scurry right into that little hole in the rock, and I barely grabbed him by the tail and held on. I just had to unwedge that rock out of the bank right here and get him out. Super cool snake. I bet the, there was a bunch of them probably hibernating in these rocks this past winter time. And it's a spot where they're all dinned up and hanging out. And he was just coming outside to get a little bit of sunshine. Until I walked up and he was trying to get away from me, but we got him. Beautiful. So this is a non-venomous species of water snake. It's very, very commonly encountered water snake species. They get that name, plain-bellied water snake, from the very plain, uniform color on their belly right there. It can vary from like a very bright and vibrant yellow color to like a creamy, buttery, you know, light pale color. Really cool snake, he's just sensing his surroundings, flickering his tongue. But the thing is, I wasn't supposed to catch the snake today. It's all about Jay. Jay's supposed to be catching the snakes today. So, I'm gonna put this guy back, right where he found him. He's gonna slither back into his rock crevice, and then uh, we're gonna get back in the creek and see if Jay can find some big old water snakes for a birthday. the day this is a eastern musk turtle also known as the stink pod because when disturbed they release a foul smelling odor they smell really bad 
It looks like this turtle has been living in this creek a long time. Yeah, when you flip him over, another way you can tell this is a stink pot turtle is you see how it's kind of fleshy right here between his little, his little plastron scutes? That's a key indicator that this is a stink pot turtle. And it is stinky. I can smell it. Okay, well we have successfully caught a turtle and I can check him off of my birthday list. So now it is time to send him back in the water. Ready to go back in the water, stinky? <laughs> you sure do stink. Wow. Whew. Smelly turtle. go that's a nice one a plain belly yeah another plain belly he's got a lot of color on his, wow, on his back look at his back he's beautiful it's a nice looking snake he is feisty wow we had to move over here a little bit to kind of get out of the sun so you guys can get a better look at this snake but this is a plain bellied water snake he's non-venomous and i watched this snake swim all over the place for about two or three minutes and i just waited for the perfect opportunity to grab him beautiful snake he's got some really really beautiful coloration on his head yeah. and on his back we'll show you that in a second yeah. So this is another non-venomous species that's just stated. This is Nerodia erythrogaster, flavigaster. One of our favorite aquatic snakes to find. Just a gem. Happy <laughs> birthday, Jay. Thanks. This is all I wanted to do today was just catch critters. It's my favorite thing to do in the entire world. And this is just another check off of my birthday checklist. All right, we're gonna let this beautiful guy go and then we're gonna keep walking down the creek and hopefully we can find some more cool snakes. today check it out this is a spiny soft shell turtle he's a little guy super cool little turtle right there just you barely spotted that didn't I know. you know looks like a little pancake in the water <laughs> yeah we just jumped in out there it's a good spot to find some things and we jumped in and uh she saw it just right off the bat it's awesome to check off another turtle species for jessica's birthday turtle checklist this is the like she said the spiny soft shell turtle apollonia spinifera they get that name from these little he's going to try to bite aren't you they have these little spiny projections on the front margin of their carapace, which they get their name from, and they are just super adorable. I love them, and Jay loves them too. I love them. I'm really happy you found that. All right, we're going in for the release. Watch how fast these guys are. Here we go. <laughs> Jay's got another one. He's in the grass. Trying to be easy. Oh my gosh! <gasps> wow. Oh what my is that? gosh, it's a Midland! Wow, look at that snake. Awesome. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. Holy crap. Easy. Easy. Hey, let's get him over here a little bit so we can see him a little bit better. Oh my gosh. Wow, that snake is gorgeous. I what think this is the most beautiful Midland I've ever seen. Wow. Look at the red on her. I tried to wait on you as long as I could, Cole, but I just had to grab. Yeah, you gotta grab him quick when you can. I saw it just slide off this little bank right here. <laughs> and wow, that snake is gorgeous. Look I'm at those so red bands on that snake. snake. That is the most beautiful Midland I have seen in a long Gosh. time. Let me get closer to the head. She's pretty good size, too. And she's being pretty well behaved. I saw yeah. her snap at your face when you first grabbed her. Good thing she didn't grab you in the face, that would have been <laughs> bad. That is a gorgeous snake, and she's big. Yeah. That's a really good size one. I just, I just can't get over the red coloration I know. on her. What like, can beautiful... you see her really good? Yeah, I can see her pretty good. But hey, let's move over a little bit more of a shaded area so we can really get a good look at her. And okay. then we'll bring her back to the creek. Okay. Oh, oh no. I was about to say, I have not been bit yet. Oh, wow. That but snake did not like being moved over here. Gosh darn it, there, there it happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jay now has a pretty Ooh. firm but fair hold behind the neck so she doesn't get bit anymore. And as we stated, this is the Midland water snake. Okay, so it's a subspecies of the northern water snake. A lot of guys call this snake the banded water snake, but that's not the correct name for it. The scientific name for the species is Nerodia cypodon, and it's in the same 
uh, subfamily with all the other water snakes. It's a non-venomous species. As you can see, it has a round pupil. There are venomous species out there that have round pupils, but you're not going to find them around here and in the water. So what we're looking for when we're trying to ID these snakes from venomous or non-venomous, we're looking for a heat sensing pit. And as you can clearly see, there is no heat sensing pit. We have round pupils, all is good. Another way you can tell this snake from our other water snake species around here is if you flip it over and look at its belly. Okay, check out its belly. They have these really, really pretty red half moon patterns on their belly. It's completely unique to this species of snake. So if you find a snake and you have it in your hand, you flip it over and you see red half moons on it and you're in the central Arkansas area, you're gonna know that it is a Midland water snake. Beautiful snake species. And I think we're gonna take it from this set here, take it back to the creek and release it. Cause I know that it is more than ready to be back in the water. Okay, we're back down at the water and we're about to send her back. Well, that was a very successful birthday creek herpin mission. We caught everything that we wanted to besides a frog and, and a fish. fish. Caught two snakes, three snakes, two snakes. Three snakes. Three snakes total and like four turtles. And we caught two species of turtles? Yes. Three species of turtles. Three species, yeah. Stink pot, red ear, and soft shell. Yep, awesome. So we're heading back to the truck now and then we're gonna try to check off the rest of Jessica's checklist items for her birthday. We gotta get gonna a, go catch a fish. A fish and then we're gonna catch a big old bullfrog, hopefully. Woo. Fingers crossed. Okay, we're out here. It's the first day of bullfrog season, and Jay's trying to check off a bullfrog for her birthday list. We got one spotted right here in the grass mat. She's trying to get him to bite a little crock of jig. We're going jigging, not gigging, we're going jigging. Jigging him up. Kind of tough, we got a little bit of wind issues. Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> got him. We got him. That's Check a big one. <laughs> That's a big old it's bullfrog. It's the first day of frog season and I love catching frogs. This is the final check off of my birthday checklist. Yes. I am so stoked right now. It's a big old bullfrog. Look how cute. I have a super soft spot for bullfrogs. They're so cute. They're so tasty too. <laughs> they are really tasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put them in our little basket. Get that frog, Jay. Get that frog. Goodness, oh that was a gosh, big old beaver. Either. Oh, she got him. She got him in the net. Yeah, Kobe. <laughs> yes, look at that. That's teamwork right there. We got another frog. <laughs> On the crappie jig, baby. On the yes! crappie jig. <laughs> Jay's checking off frog bucket list all night. 
<laughs> Look at him. Yes. Big old bullfrog. Good job, Jay. Thank you. Way to check the frog off your birthday bucket list. Out here wearing these bullfrogs <laughs> out. Opening day of frog season. It's lit. It's so like those little tasty legs. Woo. Well guys, we did it. We successfully caught everything that I wanted to catch for my birthday. And it took us all day and all night. Yeah, we but were out until it was worth it. We were out until 3 a.m. catching frogs <laughs> last night, guys. We were exhausted, <laughs> so we didn't film any more last night. I had an awesome birthday. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and tagging along and watching us catch everything that I wanted to catch for my birthday. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button for us and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with more of our future outdoor adventures. We're, we're calling Jay, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.